What's up, everybody? We're here inside WJCT Public Media on the soundstage for another installment of JME Soundstage Sessions. I'm WJCT Arts and Culture Editor Matt Shaw. And of course, we're here recording in Jacksonville, but today we may well want to call it Calford because we have some authentic country music from a very talented group of musicians from right here in our own backyard, Dean Winter and The Heat. They've released two singles already in 2022. They just played the Winterland Music Festival yesterday. We're gonna to talk to the band about the momentum that they've been building over the last year or so. But first, they're gonna treat us to, to uh, some of their delightful twang. Uh, Dean Winter and The Heat, you guys ready to play a song for us? Yeah, thanks, Matt. Take it away, fellas. You know I can't escape the rain Oh, and it's driving me insane Running on empty in the sunshine state. Well, the baby's crying, the dog won't lie, so I'm setting here awake, hoping that I can face the day. The summer came and blew us all. That was Jacksonville's own Dean Winter and the Heat playing Can't Escape the Rain, a new single from a forthcoming full-length 
due out in the summer of 2022. We're here at the WJCT soundstage for JME's soundstage sessions, and I want to ask you guys about the new music, but first, uh, Dean, you want to introduce uh, the band to us and tell us who's playing with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we got Jack Mock over here on the pedal steel guitar. And then on my left, we have Mr. Jeremy Blanton playing bass guitar. And back there on the drums, that's Mr. Ty Sullivan. All right, well, you guys sounded good. You look great. Um, so, Dean, uh, you put out an EP called Pay Dirt in 2020 uh, with the heat behind you. Uh, but tell us a bit about your path as a songwriter and how uh, you put this project together. Yeah, for sure. Um, moved down to Jacksonville in 2008 and um, just spent some time kind of getting acquainted with the, the music scene here and uh, made a lot of great friends along the way and was able to write with a lot of people over the years and a few different bands and things like that. And um, Jack and I have been friends for a really long time and we had, uh, we had discussed, you know, maybe trying to go a little country, maybe a little alt country, maybe a little Americana. And uh, so we st I started writing some tunes and uh, we got the rest of the guys together, Jeremy and Ty and Jack and uh, myself, and we just started kind of jamming on them and writing on them and we're like, hey, this, this feels really good. Um, so after kind of years of writing some music for some other people and collabs with other people and things like that, we kind of found, a, uh, at least I feel like I found a sweet spot writing and a sweet spot of guys um, to hang out with me and do it for sure. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, I'm always interested to hear like how bands sort of arrive at their sound. And with country music, you know, there's certainly divisions between, um, you know, different camps of people who will delineate between what's like authentic country or pop country or uh, what have you. There's passionate debates to be had about that. Um, but what I really enjoy about uh, your music is uh, you guys, the attention to detail on the songs from the lyric writing to the mix of, of the music, um, the instru instrumentation, the guitar tone, everything is uh, seemingly on point. Can you tell us about some of the artists, uh, country or otherwise, you know, when you were putting the project together that uh, kind of served as inspiration to uh, help you land at that sound? Yeah, for sure. And I appreciate that too. So thank you. Um, yeah, we, there is, there's definitely like a, like a niche group of country music happening right now that people are kind of latching on to. And there's some guys out there like Jesse Daniel and um, Mike and the Moon Pies, um, somebody like uh, Paul Cawthon or something like that, that are really um, driving this uh, neo-traditional country music genre that's happening kind of across the South and across America as a whole. But, you know, even back before that, people have been writing and recording this kind of music for a long time so when we started when we started doing uh, what we're doing we kind of set out to try to make it as authentic as possible so kind of what you said and um, we're mixing all analog and uh, you know we think it sounds really warm and we really like how the songs are coming out so we're really excited about what's coming up but yeah some of those guys and just um, I mean for forever I grew up on 90s country music so um, that's probably an inspiration in my songwriting and then a lot of the kind of the the new alt and Americana genres that have come up over the years, people like Hayes Carl or, um, you know, His Golden Messenger, something like that, really kind of plays an influence into um, how these songs come together. Yeah, very cool. And you brought authentic microphone stands as well today. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, so two new songs in 2022 already, and we're only uh, about to hit March here, but... Um, what are the plans for the rest of the year? You got more singles coming out, a full length? Yeah, we got a couple more singles coming out. Um, about a year ago, we went up into a mountain and started working on some songs and um, came out with a full length uh, that we thought was ready, you know, a group of tunes that we thought could, could live on a record together. And um, so we've been slowly but surely getting them finished and putting them out. Uh, so we're hoping to have two more singles out in the next couple months um, and then uh, to put a, a full length out this summer. We can't wait to hear it. Um, Dean Winter in the Heat, thank you so much for being here. Um, it's been a pleasure listening to you guys. And uh, Dean Winter in the Heat's new singles, Right on Track and Can't Escape the Rain, are available on all streaming platforms currently. Look for a new record later this year. Uh, this has been JME's Soundstage Sessions, part of the Jacksonville Music Experience from WJCT Public Media. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Matt. I'll
world to yourself. And if I die in Danville, can't wait till tomorrow. Cause I don't think that I'm ready to lose you now. My Maria, my Maria, you break me now. Maria, I'm all yours now, I'm all yours now. My words are running empty, my head is filled with concrete. I'm starting to think that it's weighing me down. And her heart is sweet like candy. Mine feels like a levy. I wonder what she sees in these cold eyes. My Maria, my Maria, you break me down. My Maria, my Maria, I'm all yours now. Oh, my Maria, I'm on your stage. 